Hi everyone! So today I thought I would go for a balloon dip painting. Uh, last time I tried this I had blown my balloon way too big and it didn't quite work. So I tried making it smaller and maybe I have this part here to dip with and it's going to make more of an effect. Well, I won't know until I try it and maybe next I will try a water balloon and hope it doesn't pop on me. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, set that aside. I have mixed my paints the usual way for that. I'm using only heavy body paints today. I mixed those 50-50 paint medium and then I add 25% water. Uh, the Sennelier abstract paint that I use are quite thick and so to mix them properly and try to avoid clumps I have to mix uh, a little bit of medium first with my paint, make them a little bit fluid, more fluid, more elastic and then add the rest of the medium. It works nicely for uh, those paints. Uh, same with golden heavy body. Um, they're really thick, so to avoid clumps, you really have to uh, dilute them slowly. I also had a little problem with my canvas. Uh, it was really saggy. And one of my teachers in school uh, taught us a solution for that. Use a sponge with cold water on the back of the canvas. Um, I think what happened with this is uh, in shipping, the corner of another canvas was poking into it and it left a really big dimple mark. And as you can well probably see, uh, the dimple mark is totally gone. My canvas is still a little bit uh, humid, but I'm going to paint it anyway. Um, well, it's pretty much dry actually, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's a trick for you if you want to tighten the canvas. You can also use the canvas keys here in the corners. Get them in with a, a little mallet. Um, and yeah, that works nicely, but I'm thinking the solution with the Cold water really, really helps a lot. So my canvas is pretty tight now, and I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> so I will zoom you in, and we'll get started with that. All right. So I have a cup here. I think I'm just going to apply the paint there with the flip cup and see where I want more details and where I want to dip the balloon and go from there. So I have my paints here. They're pretty much all pigment mixes except those, well no, two of them are because they're hues. Um, so yeah, let's just go not exactly looking for cells. I don't have uh, white or any paint that is uh, much heavier in density. So they should be really close in density. Well, pretty close anyway. And also, I'm not quite sure with that green and the orange, but I guess I have to try <laughs> to see. The idea here is a color harmony, tetradic. So you make a square or a rectangle on the color wheel and the corners of your square or rectangles are a tetradic color harmony. I've done a video before on uh, this. So uh, I'll try to remember and put a card up here well, up here, 
in the corner somewhere. So you can see that if you want. But for now, I'm just gonna flip that. Corners, because the corners are really hard to cover all the time. And I forgot to put gloves, so I'm going to get my hands dirty, pop those big bubbles. some details in there. It's too smooth. Here. So as I said, it's too smooth. Let's get some details in there. It looks uh, really bland. So let's try this. Ooh. <laughs> when I lift the balloon, the paint follows and I can do cool stuff with it. How about I did the tip here, the that part? Oh, you really have to get in there to get some cool details anyway. And as you can see, that's another cool feature. The heaviest color here was the blue. And why? Am I saying that? Well, because the blue was under and um, I uncovered it doing the dip thingy. And you know what, guys? I like this and I think I'm going to keep dipping. Mm. Or maybe not. It looks a bit like a landscape mountains and sky let's just help the mountain creation yeah that, now we are talking mountains here mountain here and sky behind the mountains and cool orange popping through in the sky because maybe it's a sunrise maybe it's a sunset who knows so for now, I'll just give you a time lapse. Meanwhile, I will pop my bubbles and cover my sides because those are gallery wrapped canvas and covered sides looks really, really nice, I think. It's like the continuation of the painting. All right, so I have to say I quite like this. I really love the effects uh, that happened where I dipped the bubble. It was really cool. Balloon bubble. Well, it's a kind of bubble, I guess. But yeah, really cool effects happen where I dipped it. Uh, like cells here. I, I brought the heaviest paint on top. I think. The cobalt blue hue has titanium white in it, so makes it a little bit heavier than the rest. Um, uh, I forgot about that <laughs> before I poured. 
but yeah. Look at those cells with the blue and the orange here with the pink, well, magenta, and here the lacing and all those little details in the orange. It's really cool. And more cells here. And a little bit of uh, lacing and the stuff happened in the green as well. Uh, I really like uh, the contrast between the green and the pink and the blue and the orange. It was the point. A tetrazic color harmony is basically uh, two complementary colors. Um, well, yeah, complementary colors. The orange with the blue and the pink with the green in this case. And I was a bit afraid with the green and the orange, but the orange being a little bit more reddish, like it's a red orange, it, I think it makes it work. And I like it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you like it as is? Um, do you like the orange and the green? Do you, um, do you think I should have kept going with the bubble uh, balloon and uh, dip it on the whole canvas? Or do you like the fact that I stopped halfway and just dipped the, the top of the canvas and left the bottom like that? To me it looks a bit like an abstract landscape uh, with weird stuff happening in the sky. <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoy this painting, I like it. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. I always like to read your comments. I like to read uh, what you guys think, your opinions, your feedback. And even if you have ideas of uh, where I could go with this. Maybe I should do another painting where I dip it. Uh, I dip the whole canvas with the balloon. Yeah, that could be fun. And we're back. And um, I hope you enjoyed this painting. I sure enjoyed painting it and I like the effects that happen with the balloon. Uh, I think I'm going to try this again. I, I was thinking what if I do a crossover of the drip technique with the balloon or what if I do the drip technique and then tilt it. Many ideas that I have and I'm not sure well, I'll have to try them all. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <coughs> also, let me know in the comments if uh, it looks like an abstract landscape to you. With weird things happening in the sky, of course. <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I really do, because I really enjoyed myself. And uh, if you liked this video, Give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!